I drained my base in Minecraft Hardcore. Let me explain. This is my base, but I think it's ugly. So today we're gonna completely rework it all. First, I destroyed everything. <laughs> Oh my god! Boom! Oh! Here are the plans for my base. We're gonna be draining the ocean all around it and build a green utopia. In the sense that to flex, we'll have the netherite beacon on top of a mountain. The mountain will also be the entrance to my underground where I'll have villager storage and all the farms I could ever need. There's a ton more decorations, like massive cracks in the utopia, custom trees and much more. Make sure to watch till the end to see how it turns out. So now this is what it looks like, my base. Of course we have to like completely remove this island, completely remove this island here. I wanna figure out how big the circle should be before I start doing anything else. So I'm thinking about doing a 40 like radius circle i don't know if that's too big go hard or go home that's the saying i like using wow this is the circle that i will be draining so we already got like the center piece but there's still so much to drain this is gonna take a while So we're not even halfway here, like not even close to halfway, and I'm out of class. I'm gonna go to a desert and completely demolish it. Now I've got myself five shulker boxes full of sand, we're gonna smelt all this up to glass and um, continue building. <laughs> Bam! So now we finished up the circle all the way down to the bottom. I mean, it's pretty awkward with this small island. But we're gonna have to break this once we've drained like everything. But I'm gonna get a bunch of sand. I think I have a bunch already in here. Mm. Oh yeah, we do have a lot of sand. That's nice. We have run out of sand, even though I've spent like eight shulker boxes or something of sand. So instead, I'm just gonna take a bunch of gravel that I have and just use that instead. Ah! Oh. What? They can... <sighs> Bro, what? That's so annoying. So yeah, now we got all the lines in. So if you're curious, like, what am I gonna do now? I'll show you. I'll go get your mom and then all of the sponges that I have. Now we basically just... Bah, 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 bah. And boom, bada, bam. Now that all the water is dead. When all my sponges have become wet, I just put them in the nether and... Bah. And I'm pretty sure if you just swing your sword, it's gonna clear up everything. Huh? Bam! Was that cool? We've drained all of these pits here, now we just have to break it all down. Before we do that though, I think I'm gonna move everything. <laughs> everything in my base. Which is absolutely stacked in resources, so uh... This is pain. So now we have moved like all of my chest with all of the stuff down here. Some of the things are, you know, more special than others, but I am so stacked in every way. And uh, we have an issue here because there's a man. Oh! Boom! But still, we cannot really start uh, tearing down everything. We have like all of these villages here. I want all of these guys to survive, so I need to move them further down. Okay, so we're finally ready to start tearing down these uh, these sand walls. Now, the reason why you use sand is just because of this. I missed. There we go. It's gonna break down the entire thing. Now we can just keep going. So now we've officially cleared out all of the water. Like, already it's looking kinda cool. But if you wanna see, like, how cool it'll look at the ending, make sure to watch till the end. Yeah, let's just get to breaking this goddamn crap. So this is how it looked in the start, and this is now. Oh my god, it is crazy. I can't believe how small this hole seems now. Like, this is not a small circle. Next objective is uh, removing this mountain, almost. There's definitely gonna be a hill here, but it's not gonna be this tall. Oh, he is dying. Oh, oh my god. So I've perfectly removed the island now, and there's still some water that's kinda messed up. Oh! And it's voila. So the next step in the base building is putting grass everywhere. So I think we're just gonna go down, fill up my shulkers full of dirt and just see how long we get. Mm -hmm. 
Just take a look at that now. So obviously, we have a little cliff here, which I actually like. It makes it so the landscape isn't so flat. But we're definitely nowhere near done with, like, the progress so far. We still gotta build the little temple thingy for the beacon. And I also have a bunch of decoration and stuff I also wanna do. So, yeah, make sure to keep watching till the end to see how this turns out. Now, though, let's start constructing the beacon. Do I not have any moss? New plan, then. Let's look for moss. Oi, Arxelorsel. And moss. And diamond! <laughs> I think this hall looks alright. So something like this supporting the structure on all sides. It's not a pyramid, but it's kind of like a natural pyramid. So now I've built like all four. I want to work on the entrance now just to get a general idea of how the hill this looks. And now we strip. Bam. No, it seems a little dark. I feel like this already looks so much better. Now currently it looks pretty bland up here in the top. But we can definitely make that better with some, uh, I don't know what it's called, like those spikes. So now we got the pointed dripstone. I think we're gonna place something like this, this. And then we just wanted to go down a couple of blocks. Yeah, I don't think I like that at all. I'm thinking something so simple here looks a lot better. Oh my god, wandering trailer, do you have any good traits for me? <laughs> How the hell do you do a chandelier? <laughs> That's not how you do a chandelier. So I think I really like this design here. But, um... So this is what we have so far. We got the chandelier, we got like the entrance here. Of course, this is gonna be like a tube leading down into my cave system. So now we've got the mountainside done. Before we add deep slate into these chunks, I think we're gonna go put on the moss. I'm not gonna lie. I think I actually just prefer that it's stone. So yeah, we have to... <laughs> It looks a lot better now. We're gonna copy this all the way around to the other side. And boom, we got it now. The netherite beacon will be quite a central part of this space. So I think we're just gonna go all out with this. Thinking we add some diamond blocks to this. <laughs> Being bada bam, we have all the diamonds we're gonna be needing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work on this and uh, yeah, we'll see what we'll end up. This is the current result. Of course, in the center here, we're gonna have the netherite beacon. <laughs> Bang! Wow! So this is how it looked in the start, and this is now. So obviously the netherite beacon is fucking powerful. Since it is so powerful, it's starting to crack the ground. So I would like to like get some lines going through this cliffside here, like into the ground, making cracks in the ground. No clue how to make this though. So this will hopefully create this fog effect, which looks super cool. That looks so awesome. Now we should just drag this like up the side, and it will look like. The beacon has split a crack in the ground because it's so powerful. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I like this a lot. So now the next step is just copy a couple of more of these around the base. It's definitely starting to look like something. The next step is building a volcano up this mountainside. So definitely think we can work with this. This looks a lot better now. So it's really gonna completely remove this top and put blackstone instead. To finish this up, we just gotta sprinkle in the different decoration blocks. A lot of deep plate for this one especially. So yeah. Now we're pretty much done with all the destruction in this area. There's also gonna be a contrast with some life. I think I'm gonna build a couple of custom trees. So we've built this custom tree over here, and we've built this custom tree over here. Next I wanna build a custom tree that didn't have it so well, like the lava ruined it. And I think I'm gonna place it right here. Let's also get some just dark oak to sprinkle in with this tree stump like this. Looks pretty awesome, man. So we're gonna go place some uh, massive ass jungle trees here. Gonna place a total of four in here, I think. Boom. Boom. Thinking what I can do to add some more decoration for this is add a little river in this section here. Add more flowers, add more grass. <laughs> So I like this uh, small pond here we made, it's pretty cool, has like some lily pads. And I think for now I like the decorations that we have, I don't want to just keep adding and adding and adding. And the final thing to add, a giant ice spikes that will stick out of the ocean. So this is how it looks without the spikes, and let's just go build them right now. Now to copy this a couple of more times around the area. Two, three, and I have so little packed ice left. Let's get some more. Got a bunch more packed ice. Let's just finish this up. So this is how it looked in the start. And this is the end project. I really like what these uh, spikes do for this build. It looks just so awesome. Got the beacon. We place lights everywhere. So hopefully no mobs can spawn. I really hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.